So you might remember from last time that the screen is divided up into sections. And each section um, is controlled by a single wire. Now, because each section only has one wire, e uh, the whole section must have the same color. You can see this here pretty well, that this can cause some problems when the ghosts are too close together. You can see that when a single section has multiple ghosts inside it, that one of the two ghosts will have uh, a wrong color, at least partially. Now, let's take a look at one of the color coprocessors. They're pretty similar um, to the GPU, but instead that the rectangles are variable, here the points are variable. Because in this case, the rectangles uh, represent uh, an entire section, and the points represent the position of a ghost or Pac-Man. The size of the rectangles is also a bit bigger than what they are on screen. This is to compensate for the fact that Pac-Man and the ghost are not in fact a point, but uh, also have a size. Another difference is that this is also a bit more optimized uh, than the GPU. Because sections form rows, they have the same y-coordinates as their uh, neighbors left and right of them. Which means you can separate out the logic for the y-coordinates to avoid duplication. These two comparators check the y-coordinates for the entire row, for the entire first row. Which means the signal of these two can be passed around um, to the entire row. Now the final difference between how the color coprocessor work and how the GPU works is that with the GPU uh, the input uh, could be done on whatever signal you liked. However, um, in the color coprocessor um, the output signal is the same as the input signal. Which means, if you express your input coordinates as uh, red values of red, then uh, the color outputted to the sections will be red. If you express your coordinates into yellow, um, then the output will be yellow. This caused a little bit of trouble around the zero coordinates this around the zero zero coordinate because uh, all non-used colors would have had the value zero. To solve this I added an offset of a thousand to make sure zero zero would be outside of the screen. Now the final question you might have is why do does it need four different color coprocessors? Well, and the answer to that is um, sometimes um, the same color must be displayed on screen multiple times. For example, when the ghosts are blue, all four of them are blue, um, which means you need to be able to tell the system four different blue coordinates. But if you try to do that, the signals will be just add up and forming one single coordinate out somewhere outside the screen. So to solve this, each ghost has its own color coprocessing uh, has its own color coprocessor. Um, so they can have the same color without interfering with each other.